Welcome back to Fletcher House and Garden. Like many parts of the United States this past week, we received quite the winter storm here in western Tennessee. And what started on Sunday as some peaceful, you know, quaint snowfall turned into some mighty big flakes. And before we know it, we had two days of snow, as you can see here, and even on Thursday, freezing rain. And all across the board, freezing temperatures or near freezing temperatures. Uh, I think the most amount of snow we got here was close to seven inches. And even as I am editing this film today, we still have quite a bit of snow on the ground. And while some people hem and haul about Mother Nature and her ability to bring us unexpected snow, I always take it as a sign. It almost forces my system to slow down and to rest. And so I do try to take advantage of it when I can. And for me, that means an extra cup of coffee, a cookie sheet with some freshly baked chocolate chip cookies, and some time to myself to maybe catch up on some TV shows or light a candle or just cuddle up with a blanket and enjoy some time of rest to recharge a bit. While I did stay indoors for most of this past week, there were a couple of days that I did venture outside to take a look at the garden. There's no better opportunity to check your garden for winter interest than when there is snow on the ground. It really helps highlight those areas where you may need to add something to your garden spaces. So in no particular order, I thought you might like to in a way, virtually join me in the garden when I walked through earlier this week and checked out the snow. Enjoy.
As always, thank you for joining me this week. There will come a day when the ground will thaw and the snow will retreat. And I will be able to get back in my garden again and get to work. There are so many projects planned for this year, for 2024. And I cannot wait to share those projects with you. But until then, take care.